Welcome to Doctor Who Extra. When I first read it, it was crazy and very strong in terms of the characters. Thanks to Toby for giving any deaf woman the opportunity to play these roles. The fact that he's written for a deaf character who isn't vulnerable, who isn't a victim or typecasted yeah. as somebody who can't. Um, she was definitely a can-do girl. I'm the Doctor. The Doctor's relationship with Cass is one of admiration. He very quickly susses out that she's the smartest person in the room, apart from him, of course, and is very keen on her because she knows what's going on and sees things more clearly uh, than everybody else. So who's in charge now? I need to know who to ignore. That'd be me. Her. What was really fascinating about Sophie is that her instincts and her intuition is so open. Without my hearing aids, I can't pick up things that I would naturally do as an actor. I'm left to sort of find other ways, whether they're visual cues or if I just watch and somebody's physicality goes, I know that the scene has started. Catch. Every scene is different, so you sort of find a different way to survive. Her relationship as well with Lun is so, so lovely, the kind of unspoken love between the two. My elder sister's death, so it's been very exciting just to kind of pick up my ability while I've been here, you know, signing constantly. Excited for my sister to see this, if I'm being honest. The things that we've invented, yeah, yeah, there's been, um, we've got Vector Petroleum um, and the sign on Vector Petroleum looks like a little fire um, and so we've come up with that. Prototype, there is no sign for a prototype, so it's, yeah, there are lots of different moments like that, aren't there? Yeah. yeah.